Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, I am a styling, skincare, hair care, self care enthusiast. I don't have any training in anything, I just have people ask me questions sometimes, so I decided to start a YouTube channel to share my thoughts. So I'm doing um, a different version of a video that I did about six months ago, and this video is on packing. Um, so a couple of caveats here, um, I realized I am very lucky and privileged to be able to travel outside of the United States where I live. Um, I wish I could bring everybody with me and, and I can't, um, so, so there's that. I also realize we are dangerously close to World War III in Ukraine. Um, my very good friend is Ukrainian and so, you know, we're keeping an eye, everybody of course is keeping an eye on the situation in the news and everybody. Um, and I do have travel insurance on my trip. Um, so, so there's just get those things out of the way. Um, all right, so uh, what is this trip? Where am I going? What am I doing? Um, I am going to Italy again eh, and uh, Croatia. So once again, I am going to Italy for a wedding. Um, I'm going for my Italian teacher's wedding. She is originally from Milan uh, and specific, more specifically Bergamo. So the wedding is in Bergamo and I haven't really spent a lot of time in Northern Italy. Um, also, I'll use any excuse really to, to go to Italy. Um, so I'm, I'm going for her wedding. Um, so that's gonna be about five days in Bergamo. And then after that, uh, it's 10 days for, well, eight-ish, nine-ish days um, for a choral symposium. So basically, uh, the choir I was in in college, um, they do an alumni event every year. Uh, it's been in Aix-en-Provence for a really long time in France, and I could never go. Um, and finally, the you know the dates lined up this year, um, the, my financial situation, my PTO situation, I've never... Uh, there were some changes that happened in my company this year and I've never been able to take more than two weeks of PT, PTO off in a row. And so now I can. So I've actually uh, taken 12 days of PTO off. I've given myself two buffer days when I get home because I'm old and I'm going to need them. Um, and so, um, so yeah, so the other um, seven, eight days is gonna be in Croatia. I actually just saw um, a post from the director this morning. Um, a spot has opened up in the trip and he's like, yeah, we're just gonna like rehearse in the morning and drink wine and swim in the Adi Adriatic in the afternoon. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And I'm thinking to myself, sign me up, except I already signed myself up. So I'm super excited. Okay, um, another thing here. I am trying to pack in a carry-on for 15 days. Ah. <sighs> So if you've seen any of my style videos, you've seen my closet has a ton of clothes in it. I really like clothes. I like dressing differently, you know, a lot of the time. Um, and then there's this other issue that I have. So I'm gonna say this sort of as tactfully as possible. Um, you know, everybody has uh, body odors that come with being a human being, right? Um, and some people produce more of those odors than others. Um, and so even if you, you know, shower twice a day and you, know, you change your underwear twice a day, and you, know, you use deodorant and have one at your desk and you put it on periodically, all those things. Um, you know, if your body produces more of those sort of smelly things, then it's just kind of, it kind of just is what it is, um, unfortunately. And you can do as much as you can to combat it. You can go to the doctor, get all the tests, make sure everything is running okay. Um, and it's just kind of how your body is. So I'm certainly not the worst with, with body odor, but I'm not the best either. <laughs> So, um, um, you know, my mom has the nose of a bloodhound. She can smell anything on anybody. And she says, oh, I've never smelled anything strange on, like, you don't, you don't smell. But I can smell it. I don't like it. Um, and so what this means for me is that when I, uh, when I travel, really anytime, um, I can wear a pair of jeans maybe twice, maybe twice before I have to wash them. Um, usually I wear, can wear a shirt once because if it doesn't actually smell like human, it smells like deodorant, which is also kind of annoying because, like, um, scent is the strongest sense linked to memory, and so you can kind of associate the two things together. So like the smell of the deodorant makes it smell... Anyway, okay, so it's like, how am I gonna pack for a carry-on for 15 days if this is how my body is? Well, I did a test pack yesterday, and I, I may have figured it out. Granted, I haven't actually gone on the trip yet to see if this is gonna work, <laughs> um, but, but here's my plan. All right, so um, in Bergamo, it's gonna be a little bit warmer, right? So I'm going in the summertime, that means that the low, I looked this up, the low temperature is something like 60 degrees, you know, in the middle of the night. The high temperature is gonna be like 80, 85. Um, so that's a pretty big range. When you go to Croatia, because it's on the water, because it's a little bit more north um, where I'm going, uh, the temperature range drops down seven or eight degrees that same, that same window. So, you know, a low of 53, 55, a high of 75 type of thing. Um, so here's what I've decided. Um, first of all, I started taking chlorophyll. Uh, by the way, all these products and things that I, I mentioned, I'm gonna be mentioning, I have no affiliation with anybody whatsoever. I, nobody's paying me to say anything. This is just my own anecdotal experience. 
um, I have started taking chlorophyll. So um, I have heard that chlorophyll uh, helps to relieve sweating and to relieve body odor. And so I've been taking it now for, I don't know, two, three weeks. And they're these gummies that taste like um, apples, basically. And uh, they seem to work quite well. So um, I feel a lot more sort of secure with my body situation. Um, I feel like things sort of smell less um, and, and you know take a longer time to get to the point of no return, as it were. Um, and it's just, it's, it's been very, very helpful. So if you haven't taken chlorophyll before, I, I would recommend it. I've seen them in um, droppers before, but I, I like a gummy. I don't wanna swallow another pill because I take a whole bunch of vitamins and stuff. Um, in addition to this medical problem I'm having, which maybe I'll describe on a video in another time, um, so anyway, uh, taking chlorophyll, that helps. Um, another thing is I purchased some of these little under slip short things from Thigh Society. So if you start looking for little undershorts to wear under, um, under dresses or just because you don't like, you know, typical underwear, you're going to get a lot of ads targeted towards you for these types of things. Um, and so, um, I had a friend recommend Thigh Society to me and I have a lot of like compression shorts to wear for you know super fancy events but that's not that's not what I want um, I just want something that's comfortable uh, that I can wear like this is a dress that I'm wearing right now I just want to wear something under the dress so that I, I can walk in it and I don't get that you know uncomfortable friction um, so um, Thigh Society has a bunch of different types of shorts I got um, the cooling shorts and I like them so much because uh, I bought two pairs at once because then you got free shipping and a free gift I like them so much I bought two more pairs immediately I'm wearing them right now so um, I got the cooling ones, which is helping sort of keep down the sweat factor. Um, and they do seem to, um, uh, you know, keep, keep those, those smells at bay a little bit because the area is getting a little bit more air. It's sort of a breathable material. These are not cheap little shorts, right? Um, I think the biggest difference um, for undershorts for women is you can get a pair that has just like a seam um, around the crotch or you can get one that has, I think it's called a gusset which is basically, it's shaped like a panty liner, a piece of fabric that's that's in the undercarriage of the garment so that when you wear it, you don't have a seam like right right there in the middle of you, right? Um, and so um, Thigh Society does have the, the gusset thing in their shorts, so I really, really like that about them. So they're not cheap. Um, you, again, if you start looking for these things, you're gonna get a lot of them targeted towards you. Some of them say like, we're only $7, and I'm like, I don't know, are you gonna put microplastics in the ocean when I wash you? like? Are you gonna last three washes and then you know die? Are you gonna shrink? Are you gonna stretch out? Are you gonna, I, you know what? I, I have a friend recommend them. I really like them. I've washed them a couple times. They seem fine. Um, so I really like Thigh Society. So I have four pairs of Thigh Society shorts and then I have these like shorts underwear also with a gusset that I've gotten from Amazon that since have been discontinued. I'm gonna bring a couple of those because my main strategy is to focus on dresses. So my um, armpits are less um, sweaty and less produce less odor than um, other parts of my body. So I'm not worried about re-wearing dresses more than once. Because these little Thigh Society shorts are really like thin, um, I'm bringing these little laundry sheets that I got from Amazon. You can get like a little pack, it's in like a little orange container of laundry sheets, there's like 50 of them. Um, and I'm gonna hand wash them and just hang them up to dry. And so hopefully it'll take, I don't know, 24, 36 hours for them to dry. I'm bringing enough pairs of these shorts that um, hopefully I'm always gonna have a clean pair to wear. Um, I am bringing a couple pairs of pants, but not many. So I'm wearing jeans over, which I know a lot of people are like, you're wearing jeans on a transatlantic flight? Like, are you dumb? Are, you're gonna be so uncomfortable. But here's the thing, I'm wearing the bulkiest um, items of clothing on the plane. So that way I don't have to put them in my carry-on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wearing jeans. Um, the shoes that I'm bringing. So the issue that I'm having, uh, long story short is, uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. This is not the issue I'm having. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, um, I've been too lazy to edit these things lately, so that's probably staying in the video. Anyway, um, so uh, um, where was I? Shoes, all right, leg. So um, I'm having, I am having a problem with my leg. Um, I basically tried, uh, there was a perfect storm of events that converged together and I've angered my sciatic nerve as well as my hamstring. So uh, it can be very painful to stand or walk for any significant period of time. I'm in physical therapy, I've seen my GP, um, I have some medicine, um, I have exercises, I'm working on everything. Um, but uh, uh, basically to give myself the best chance possible and also to keep down you know, what I have to pack in my suitcase. Um, I'm bringing these white sneakers that I have. They're from Clark's. They're very comfortable to walk in for me. My mom says they look like orthopedic shoes, but I'm like, you know what? White sneakers are really popular right now. They're really trendy and they're super comfortable. I can wear them every day all the time. So whatever, I'm bringing those white sneakers. They're gonna go with everything. That's what I'm wearing on the plane. 
Um, the other pairs of shoes that I'm bringing, um, I have uh, black little strappy sandals that I can actually walk in pretty well, but they're gonna be dressy enough for the wedding. Ha ha. So I'm gonna have the black sandals to go with my dress that I'm wearing to the wedding. And then um, I need, I think, anyway, I need black closed-toed shoes um, for the performances for the choir stuff that I'm gonna be in because the symposium is rehearsing for those seven days, but then we actually have a performance. So most likely I'm gonna need a fully black outfit and closed-toed black shoes. So the black shoes I'm bringing, like they're not, they're not the prettiest shoes in the world, honestly. Um, they kind of look like old country clogs a little bit. Um, I love them in brown. I wear them in brown all the time. I actually have them in like four different colors. Um, the black ones to me look the most like Amish-like kind of. Um, but you know, I, there are other outfits I'm gonna be able to wear them with, so it's like, eh, whatever. Um, you know, I need them, I'm gonna bring them. Um, I didn't even realize that there was gonna be swimming involved in this trip until I saw my director's update today. So um, I'm also gonna be bringing a pair of flip-flops. Uh, just to make sure that I can go down to the beach. Um, these flip-flops are, they're old enough to vote. They're very, very old. I've worn them all over the place. They've got a cushy bottom. They're really old Adidas flip-flops that have held up really well. So um, that's what I'm bringing, those four pairs of shoes, wearing the bulkiest ones being the sneakers on the plane. I'm also bringing a black jacket. Black goes with everything. Just bring a black jacket. Um, I've noticed that when I bring a scarf, I tend not to wear the scarf. Um, and also it's hard to find a scarf that's matching everything that I'm bringing. So it's like, I, I probably won't bring a scarf. Um, okay, so focusing on dresses and then, you know, because I'm going to be in two different places seeing two different sets of people, um, I like to wear my cutest clothes on vacation. I like to wear something different every day, but because, you know, the same amount of people, the same people aren't seeing me all the time, I can re-wear easily the first week of outfits in the second place. It just depends on if the weather's cooperating. So, um... So I have this really uh, nice white dress that, uh, it's white with purple flowers on it from Banana Republic that packs really easily. It's very lightweight. So I'm gonna wear that you know, on the hottest day, uh, walking around Milan and Bergamo and all of that. Um, I have uh, a dress that uh, someone actually called a Star Wars dress. It looks, it's, it's long and it's like an odd shape and it's earth colors. And you know, if I wear it with um, a stretchy belt, then, um, then it's gonna, stretchy brown belt, I think it's gonna be cute. So bring that dress. I got this beautiful green half linen dress from um, New Orleans that I'm gonna be bringing. It's very, very comfortable, easy to walk around in. All of these can be worn with any of the shoes. Um, the bottoms that I'm wearing and the tops that I'm, that I'm bringing, um, that's a bit of a different story. So I have the pair of jeans I'm wearing on the flight, my favorite black shirt that I might even be performing in. And so then the jeans can go with these other items. So I'm gonna have a long dress shirt, but it's not long enough to be a dress by itself, um, but it's a long white dress shirt. I can wear that with the jeans, easy. I'm bringing a sweater that I could even layer over the white dress shirt, which I've done before. Um, and so that could be an outfit depending on how cold it is. Um, I'm bringing um, a short sleeve blouse in case I have to look sort of business professionally for some reason. Um, that'll be like my most sort of neutral professional outfit. Um, and then I have a crop top. So the crop top is cool because it's not so short that I can't wear it with the jeans. Um, and it's not so long that it's no longer a crop top. So I can wear the crop top with jeans. And then I have this super cool layering tank dress. So it's a very, very thin, lightweight dress. Um, and I can put the white dress shirt over it with the belt. I could put the white dress shirt over it with the sweater and still, you know, have it be cute. Um, I could wear the, um, the black dress just with the sweater over it. I could wear the black dress with the, with the, um, um, oh my gosh, the, the crop top over it. And so um, basically the idea here is that I am mixing and matching. Um, to make sure that I have multiple outfits with each piece that I'm bringing, even if the thing that I'm bringing is a dress. So like I can wear, you know, the green dress from New Orleans by itself, or I can put my long black cardigan over it. Um, so it's not necessarily two outfits, but like I can do something different, right? It's for different, different types of weather. So um, I'm also bringing one pair of leggings, by the way. Um, it's a very durable pair of leggings. I've had it for, it's probably the most I've ever paid for leggings. I got, I got them at Nordstrom Rack, they were like 50 bucks. And I was like, I really love these leggings. I don't wanna spend $50 on them. But now I got them seven or eight years ago and they look brand new. So that you get what you pay for there. Um, so there's that. And then I'm gonna have to bring um, probably two bathing suits, you know, cause one's gonna be drying. Um, if we're swimming every day in the Adriatic, ah, then I'm gonna need two swimsuits. And um, one pair of gaucho, pants that are stretchy that I've had for a gazillion years. They've, they've come back in style. That's how long I've had them. Um, and uh, this really cool sort of drop crotch um, jumpsuit thing, which is really only appropriate for, for beach attire. Um, the, the, black, uh, the black gauchos I could probably wear with one of the tops or I could even wear them as part of pajamas. But, um, but you know, uh, th there's one thing that's not gonna be doing, you know, pulling double duty. So I actually did a test pack, as I mentioned yesterday. I did not put the swimmer in it because I didn't know I needed the swimmer. But other than that, everything actually fit in my carry-on. 
um, and it fit nicely. And I think I'm going to be able to actually buy something while I'm there um, and, and fit it in the fit in the suitcase. By the way, the reason I'm doing carry on is number one, I want to see if I can. Um, and number two, uh, in total over this trip, I am taking seven flights and I'm afraid they're going to lose my stuff. Um, so I have two flights on the way there. I have two flights to get from Italy to Croatia and then I have three flights to get home. So um, I, I just, I, I'm more comfortable having all of my stuff with me at once. Um, and then from a toiletries perspective, I have saved a whole bunch of samples over the year. And honestly, that's, that's what I'm using is, is these um, large samples. Uh, I did purchase um, sprayable sports sunblock. It's about this big, probably like two ounces in each container. Um, and that was like $14 for those two things. It's totally worth it. Uh, even though it's more expensive than that usually is, I, I think it's totally worth it. So um, uh, I did that test pack and I am super excited and ready to go, but it's six weeks away and I have to fix this thing with my leg. So um, we're not quite there yet, but hopefully we are getting there. Um, and hopefully I can still actually do a carry on to go uh, two weeks. Um, so hopefully some of this has helped somebody else um, you know, uh, the, I recommend those, as I mentioned, Thigh Society. Uh, I recommend taking chlorophyll. I'm also bringing my trusty Loom deodorant um, for anybody that's seen that video I have on Loom deodorant. Again, none of this is sponsored. Nobody's paying me to say any of these things. This is just anecdotally what has worked for me. So if you've done a larger trip than two weeks doing just a carry-on, I would love to hear about it because um, I think that is definitely a, a feat, especially if you consider yourself to be a clothes horse. So uh, if you want to talk about that or anything else, really put it down in the comments below. And thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.